So over the past three weeks, I've been posting on LinkedIn every single day. It hasn't even been three weeks and I've had some really awesome results and a lot of learning. So this video is all going to be about that. I'm going to t t tell you about like what I've been learning while posting and I'm going to first show you some results. The first thing is if you don't follow me already on LinkedIn, please go over there and follow me. Um, this is kind of where I'm pushing a lot of people at the moment. I'm writing every single day on LinkedIn, really awesome stuff about LinkedIn, B2B marketing and demand gen stuff. So definitely follow me there. So let's jump, jump into results. Firstly, over the past just one week, I've had over 300 new followers, which is so cool. And not only are they just normal followers, um, they're really awesome types of followers. They're VPs of marketing and from really big companies, CMOs, those are demand gen types of people, the types of people, the types of companies that can hire me, which is exactly the demographic I want. LinkedIn is just filled with the kinds of companies that are just really hard to get normally. But on LinkedIn, if we post every single day, the types of people who engage with our posts are really awesome high level people. So I totally recommend doing it. It's been an incredible three weeks and I've had five phone calls of people who have reached out to me, very high quality um, qualified uh, people have reached out to me from medium sized companies, decent sized companies, and they've literally sent me messages such as, hey, I've noticed you, um, I've been following your posts, I've checked you out on YouTube, but they've come from the posts. So I've followed your, I've been reading some of your posts, you've been re uh, uh you know, your content you've been producing recently. And I'd love to talk to you about doing some LinkedIn ads. We have a budget thing coming. Um, I've had two or three of those, which is like, we're trying to sort our budget for 2023. And we want to see if LinkedIn ads is going to be part of this mix and we need to make budget for it. So would we, could we speak to you? So I've spoken to five, I'd say at least two of those. Uh, and that's at least are pretty much definitely going to convert. So over just like two and a half weeks, I've got two new clients just by posting every single time. I didn't expect this at all. No, like literally I was expecting nothing for at least six months while I build this up slowly. It's been a really good journey. So this is a really good early signal to suggest that if I continue creating really high quality posts every single day and I'm consistent with this over the next few months, this can increase from five to like 20 or 30 every single month. And we're talking about really high quality people. This can literally, in my opinion, explode the growth of someone's company. We can, you know, pay for ads to do that, or we can do in so many other ways. We can do YouTube, we can do all these other demand gen things. But I would actually say, if you're not doing LinkedIn, organic posting, where you're missing something massive, a massive opportunity, which is probably going to decline every single day. It's not going to be there forever. Eventually the algorithm is going to change it's going to, and it's all going to probably go away. But I think we still are a little bit early on this and we still can um, squeeze a couple of years out of this. So definitely do it. Here's some quick results and I'm going to go into some quick tips. So over the past um, two weeks, I've had 32,000 impressions, really high quality impressions for, and 429 engagements. That means like like, and comments and all this kind of stuff. So that's super, super cool. Um, and the cool thing here is I've had 881 profile visits over the past 90 days, but the majority of that came just in the past couple of weeks. If you look here, it's like 188 just on that week and 223 on the peak of that when I had a really good post come out. I've had a couple posts which have exploded. A lot of my posts will get, um, you know, like this one got 7,000 um impressions which is super good but here's like t nearly 3,000 there 1,800 1,000 3,000 on that one 2,000 that one 1,300 that one you know I'm roughly getting like 1 2,000 on average with a few which did really really well but this is just the start this is just after two and a half weeks the more you engage with other people the more you post slowly this is going to grow hopefully more and more and as I said I had 300 new followers and a bunch of people DM me so it's been a really incredible um, couple weeks, I'd say. I'm very excited about this. So let's jump in to the main lessons I've learned. But quickly, if you haven't already um, seen this, I don't, I haven't released it yet, but I'm going to be releasing in the next few days. I've got a brand new website. If you're looking to do LinkedIn ads and hire me, you can go to my website, my new brand, my new website, www.kin.co. The first thing I was debating when I was posting on LinkedIn is what should my post look like? What should I be posting specifically? And this is something I'm still learning, but what I'm learning a lot more is originally I was thinking, okay, 60% should be about LinkedIn ads because this is what I do. I do LinkedIn advertising for B2B tech companies. So I was thinking 60% on that, 40% could be a wider, you know, topic, 
stuff about you know it could be much wider topics but what i'm learning and the feedback i'm getting and the engagement i'm getting is people want me to talk about a specific topic they don't want me to start and talk about seo or they don't want me to talk about like something random they want me to talk about linkedin ads that's why they follow me they want to get deep understanding of demand gen and linkedin ads this kind of the topics that i'm talking about regularly so when i talk about those topics i get really good engagement likes and also i can become a thought leader and in in depth i can write these um posts which are really in depth and really insightful because i do this every day with massive accounts i manage hundreds of thousands a month of ad spend so i got a lot of insights so when i write about my like deep insights and understanding of a platform this is what people want to hear me about so i've actually now pivoted to writing something like 90 percent just about what i do which is linkedin ads and the good thing is that's the kind of audience i want i want people i want to be writing articles which are basically focused all the way down to like people who don't even know LinkedIn ads is a solution for them. So my I've, my analysis of my industry specifically is that people know they have a problem already. They know that they need demand gen. They need to grow. They need demand gen. But their options are numerous. They want, could go to SEO, cold uh, email, outbound, you know, um, Google ads, Facebook ads, and LinkedIn ads. So LinkedIn ads has like indirect competitors and not only direct competitors within linkedin in ads i have other people who do linkedin ads there's not many of us but there are a few that's my direct competitors but my indirect competitors is the different market segments that can solve or claim to solve the same solution so i need to educate people why linkedin ads are the solution in comparison to say seo or something like that so a lot of my articles talk about why LinkedIn ads are awesome and my case studies, like insights about why, what I'm doing and successfully and how other people can be successful with LinkedIn ads. So it's kind of bringing out a whole, I'm trying to bring a market segment to create demand, not just capture demand, but create demand. And this is why posting is so valuable because we're creating brand new demand. There's gonna be people who see my posts and go, oh, I never really considered LinkedIn ads. I was considering SEO, but now I'm reading Phil and he's saying, telling me SEO is good for these people, but not good for these. Whereas LinkedIn ads is perfect for that market segment. So maybe I should not allocate my budget to SEO or whatever it is. And I should allocate my budget to LinkedIn ads and scaling a content distribution type um, strategy to you know, solve the problem of demand I have. So I'm, I'm opening up a whole new market and this is why it's so powerful. So I find that 90% of my post should be about what I do and opening up new, creating new demand by um, kind of like educating people of how what I do can be useful to them and to help them solve what they do. So this is what I've realized is my main lesson. Write mostly about what it is you do. The second thing I'd say is be consistent. You need to write every single day, five days a week at minimum. If you can write seven days a week, that's great. People say don't do weekends. Weekends are great. Do weekends. People are rummaging on their phone on a weekend. Or also, if you want to write two or even up to three times a day, don't listen to people who say you can't do that. You can leave a, like something like a four hour gap between each post. But what I'm finding is that the engagement is really good, even if you have two posts in one day. So if you are going all in with this, it's bloody hard to do. I would, I'm going to try to reach this point. But if you can write two post a day at least five days a week or um seven days a week then i think that's a massive winner and you should do that and don't listen to anyone who says you can't write more than one post the main point here though is being consistent and so one of my big tips is to write all your content up front for the month and this is what i've done this is i've tried to write before article every single day in the mornings giving myself half an hour an hour whatever it is it doesn't work something comes in the way I have to run and do something some kind of emergency prioritize some, some other stuff happening so what I've done now is just re pre-write my entire month's content all in a, like a day and a half and then I don't have to think about it anymore and I'm really prioritizing this strategy as something that's really important for my business so a day and a half of writing is fine for me I really think it's worth a day and a half of my entire month. To be honest, you, last time I did it on the Sunday, I decided not to go surfing and I just wrote an entire month's worth of content in on a Sunday, got a big cu cup of coffee and just did it. So consistency is key, pre-write your stuff. So the type of content that is working really well are actionable tips, like literally do this and then do this. This is what works for LinkedIn. 
Number one, do this. Number two, do the actionable tips works really well. Next is using numbers and statistics saying five, these are the five, um, I increased my uh, click rate by 1% by doing this exact strategy. Firstly, I did this and this and this, second I did. So it's kind of actionable, but using numbers really, really works, I find. A third content type I find is deep insights of your industry. So trying to go get some deep insights of your industry is really important because that's the whole point. You're trying to kind of put yourself out there as a thought leader or someone where people are like getting kind of like, oh, I'm learning about this. And Phil or whoever you are who's writing about it is, you know, teaching and educating me about this and therefore I see him as someone who is um, knowledgeable and I'm probably going to hire them him if I ever need to uh, work with someone so this is really important deep insights of your industry my final point here is try to find an angle a story and a positioning which differentiates you from your competitors so I have one where my story is that my competitors are all just doing lead gen. They're trying to send LinkedIn ads to get leads, 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 leads. And I'm, my position is that's old school. We need to go back and look at demand generation. We need to use LinkedIn ads to create demand rather than just capturing the existing demand. We want to create demand. We want to move people who don't know LinkedIn ads is a good solution to realizing, hey, maybe this is a better solution than the budget I was going to give to SEO in this example. So I'm creating a brand new demand. That person was never in the market for LinkedIn ads, but now they are because I've educated them why that is. So that's my positioning. That's my story that I'm going to repeat and why people want to hire me over other people. So definitely create a story, a position and an angle in your market where you can sit and be different to your competitors and communicate that over and over and over again on your all your social profiles youtube whatever else you do but on your story on linkedin that should be part of it so i'll be updating you as time goes on it's only been two and a half weeks i'm a b testing a bunch of different things as well on that platform so definitely subscribe here and follow me on um linkedin itself the link in the description below but I'm, for example one of the tests i'm testing is video with text versus just text i want to see if video has a greater um distribution with the algorithm or not so that's just one test i'm testing and i'll it's inconclusive so far but i'm going to come back to you in a few weeks and post another video in a few weeks about this so definitely subscribe and hit the bell button and follow me on linkedin so see you soon